Hello, everybody. Chaplain Bob here. Listen, um, I don't know if you know, this isn't really a Bible study, but just uh, something to think about. Why do they love that number 33? Well, in the Scottish Rite of Masonry, the Masonic Lodge, 33 is the absolute highest degree. There was a guy named Albert Pike. He was uh, 33rd degree. He was the top dog, the big cheese. And he wrote a book called Morals and Dogma. I had that book. I gave it to a pastor that I respect. And in that book, he records that uh, their light comes from Lucifer. He says, doubt it not. So, why 33? Why, is, why did they pick that number? Why not 22 or 11 or 44 or 55? Why 33? Well, here are some things to think about, and I'm not saying it's all true. Supposedly, depending upon the way you number uh, the years and the dates, Jesus died in 33 AD. Now, the high priest in Israel, in the book of Leviticus, could not be a high priest until he was 30 years old. So, Jesus is our high priest, at least that's what the book of Hebrews says. And uh, if he was 30 years old when he started his ministry... And he lived for about three years. That means he died. He was 33 years old. So 33 years old, 33 AD, possibly. Hmm, I don't know. But something else. In the book of Revelation, it records that the dragon drew a third of the stars of heaven, which we, you know, you find out that they're angels, the fallen angels. He took a third of them with him, fell from heaven. What is uh, one-third in a number? Well, as a percentage, it would be 33%. Well, 33.33%. So why do they love that 33? Ah, I don't know. You know, they got... Uh, and then you look at all these coronavirus so-called things, and... You know, 33 people sick, 33, 33 million people can die, and 33 this and 33 that. You know, here it is, you got the Masons uh, must be putting these numbers in the newspapers, you know. And what is Masonry? Well, I call it... Uh, Chu deism for Gentiles. Chu deism for Gentiles. That's what I call masonry because it's all, well, that's what it is. So, really, the lower level guys, they don't know what's going on. The upper level people do. You know, usually most of these uh, lodges, you think they've only got three degrees. Uh-uh, they got 33 of them. Majority of people never get past the third, you know, first three degrees. But those in the upper levels, I think they know. But what's all this stuff about the corona thing? 33 sick, 33 died, 33 million could, you know... Uh, perish from this horrible thing. 33 this and 33 that. You know what? When you know their little symbols, you'll start recognizing them. There was a guy named Albert Mackey uh, that did a book on uh, Masonic signs and symbols. Now, you don't have to buy the book. I mean, you can, you know, go to Google and images and type in Masonic symbols or 
uh, Wicca symbols, W-I-C-C-A or W-I-C-C-A-N, Wiccan, and uh, take a look at their symbols. And then when you see them around, you'll say, oh, yes. See, uh, according to somebody, I read this somewhere or heard it from somebody, they said, you know, when God scattered everybody at the Tower of Babel and confused their languages, well, that's how they would communicate with each other was through symbols. So even though uh, you know English, somebody else knew French, somebody else knew German, somebody else knew Russian, they could communicate through symbols. So 33, anybody? 33 Corona. Corona. I wonder what would happen if you drank 33 Coronas. I don't know. But uh, I don't want to find out. All right, just something to think about, people. Uh, stay close to Jesus. This might be, uh, they're talking about doing medical martial law, quarantines. You know, I was thinking about it. If they started going into people's houses at 3 o'clock in the morning and locking them up, uh, you know, the neighbors might actually start asking questions and, Actually, you might have some patriots that actually might want to help their neighbors. But, uh, you know, if an ambulance shows up with the police and you say, oh, man, these people, they're, they're infected with a horrible disease. Make sure you don't come near here because we don't want you to get sick. And everybody's in spacesuits, uh, you know, with the police and everything. And they're hauling the family out in the middle of the night. You know, it might... People might say, ah, oh, you know, I don't want to get involved. I don't want to get sick. So this medical martial law thing might just be the ticket for them to uh, lock up all the patriots. I'm sure they've already thought of all this stuff. Satan's had hundreds and thousands of years to come up with a plan. And every time I think I've got uh, his little thing figured out, um, he throws me a curveball. Oh, that's a... That's a baseball reference, ladies. Um, you know, you're up at bat and you're trying to hit this ball and the thing curves. You know, you're, you're sitting there looking at it and you think you're going to be able to hit it. And then just before it comes to you, it, it does a curve and then you miss. So, uh, yeah. So what can I tell you? But if you don't understand, ask a guy that watches baseball. He'll, he can explain it better than I can. All right, well, stay close to Jesus, people. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor to him. In Jesus' name, amen.